everybody, it's Mark Shellshear. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Intramuros, Manila, Philippines. This week we have spent some time on videos and in blogs talking about selling. Because I see that selling is such an important part of the artist's business, and yet many artists are really afraid of selling. Because they've got this concept locked in their mind of the guy selling the used car, the pushy hard salesman. And it's not about that. I was, a uh, question I had was, if I could break it down and make it really simple for people, what would be the simplest way that I would talk about selling? Okay, now we have talked about, and I will always talk about, connecting with the buyer, building a relationship with the buyer, which will lead to a friendship and then permission to sell a painting to that person. We've talked about after sales service. I know I need to write all this down and get it much clearer and, and put it in a much more seminar style, but because these videos and my blogs are not real long, I need to try and concise it a little bit. So, if I was to give you what I think the keys to selling anything are, and they are simply this. And now, selling, I don't believe, is as hard as everybody thinks out, because most people have this concept of what selling is based upon what they've heard from other people, seen on television or in the movies, or experienced it in some hard sales situation. It's not. This is what selling's about. Selling's about being nice to people. It's about being friendly to people. It's about being sincere about the product you are selling. It's knowing that I love the painting, therefore I'm prepared to sell it based on that love for my painting. Things we need to do. When we are selling to people, or talking to people, I'd rather say at an exhibition, your exhibition, your opening, speak properly. Get rid of slangs, get rid of all those things that we sometimes lapse into easily, and just speak properly to people. Be the person who is not only are you friendly and nice, but you speak well to them. You know, and listen to what people say. And when you listen, Listen carefully. Don't be thinking in your mind your next question or your next statement. Think about what the prospect is saying. And if it's you know, about the painting, reflect it back. Reflect back to them. If they say things like, well, you know, I have bought paintings in the past and, and I have a few paintings. I am not sure if I want to go and buy some more. Your response is, oh, you bought paintings before. Get them back on play. Get them back. Use that. Use what they say. Reflect it back to get them to keep speaking to you about the paintings and about art. As long as people are talking to you, as long as that's going on, connection's taking place. And it's important. Okay? It's important. Now, the, another thing you must never do. Do not argue. I have made the policy in all the things that I do, that I don't argue with people. If someone gets on my blog and starts writing things, and they're disagreeing with me, you know, my response really is, okay, fine, that's your opinion, you're entitled to it, my blog's not for you. That's the way I see it, because I know that nobody wins an argument. Someone just goes silent. And that's the way it is in life. You know that is in life. You, you've had arguments with people and you've told them how wrong they are. And eventually somebody goes quiet and you say, well, I've won the argument. Yeah, you might have won the argument, but you didn't change their mind. That's the thing. We, arguing just doesn't work. It, no place for it. Don't enter into it. If they become argumentative, say, hey, fine, thanks, man. Cheers. Bye. And just walk away. Walk off. Smile them away, as I always say. Just don't get into it. For a number of reasons, artists. Now think about this. You're in, a, in a, uh, a, a gallery situation or an art exhibit or you're selling your work and someone comes up and starts to argue with you. The one thing you can't do is enter into an argument with them. The reason being, for what I've said before, and also because of all the people watching, listening, and even videoing you. You don't need that. You don't need that at all. Just smile them off, walk them away, they'll go. If you don't argue, it takes two people to be in an argument. If one doesn't want to argue, it kind of fixes it, finishes it all. So don't argue. And always be a friend. 
And all you're doing with these people, be friendly, be the friend. Now, if you want to dress outrageously, that's fine. I have no problem with artists who dress outrageously, you know, have the tats, have the hair done strange, have all the piercings, no problem. But when you're dealing with people who are buying your paintings, who have the money to spare to buy paintings, remember that they might love your uniqueness and your strangeness, but when you open your mouth, speak properly, be friendly, be courteous. Nobody will buy from a rude person. Nobody's going to buy from the artist who's, who, as I keep saying, don't I, who's got the, the injured personality. I'm the brooding artist and, you know, I'm hurting and, and I deserve to sell a painting and, you know, I am, I am a great, brilliant person. Why doesn't anyone else recognize that? Well, you know, the brooding artist works really well in movies. It doesn't work well in real life situations. People aren't interested. Bye, bye. They'll just walk off. They're not going to take any notice of you. So be as outrageous as you want. I don't mind artists who are outrageous. But remember, when you're facing this customer, this customer who has enough money spare to spend on you, give them the respect they deserve. Speak nicely to them. Be friendly. Smile. Do all the things I've said. And they'll love the romance of the artist and they'll respect you as a person. That's very, very important. And a lot of artists miss that. You see, the person who's buying a painting has money spared to do so. So they're a different economic group. We need to recognize that. And we should not make that statement that people make, well, you've just got to accept me the way I am because this is how I am. No, that's not true. Be the person you can be. Be the better person. Rise up within yourself and be the person who can relate to these people and sell your paintings. Because that's ultimately what we're trying to do, is to sell the paintings. So friends, don't be pushy, don't be rude. Show your work, show how much you love your work, paint pictures into the imagination of the person, of how they could hang it, where they could put it, imagine owning it, imagine what your friends will say when they walk in and see this beautiful piece of art, stimulating the imagination. That's not manipulative. If they don't want to buy it, they still won't buy it. That's the truth. But if they are taken by that, they will buy it. Remember I said yesterday, and I say it again today, we all purchase something here before we go and get it from there. That's the truth. We, see, we imagine it, we own it in our head, then we go out and buy it. Okay, so most of all, be nice. Most of all, be friendly. Most of all, smile and have the attitude that everybody who comes up to your painting, you want to make them your friend. Because that's what counts in the end. Making them into friends. Lifetime friends become lifetime collectors. And that's better than just selling one painting. I would rather, as I said yesterday, I would rather lose one painting and build a friendship with that person because I know once that friendship is built, they'll come back and they'll buy more. But sometimes some artists are so pushy for that first sale that they lose the person. Hey, lose the sale, gain a friend, get a collector. That's the key to it all. I hope that helps. I hope that kind of shinies it up a little bit. We're going to do a few more things. I want to keep talking about painting pictures in the mind. That seems to uh, challenge a few people. But if you can paint a picture on canvas, why can't you paint a picture with words? Same thing. Okay, my friends, you have a fabulous day. Get out there and touch lives, help people. Remember, smiles and hugs are free. And I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Galleria de las Islas. If you live in Manila, come and visit me. I'd love to have a chat with you and talk to you about art. And friends, remember, be nice to people always. You have a great day. My name's Mark. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.